on the subject of you being ahead at your, of your time, you prophesied the immigration problems that we're having now. There's been data that's just come out um, this week by the ABS. Yeah. It showed that recent population growth is the biggest since the post-World War II boom, and there is nowhere for them to live. I mean, what is federal labour thinking with their immigration policies at the moment? They don't care about the average person out there mm -hmm. and how they're supposed to survive or find housing or find rental accommodation because they're only bringing in the high numbers of immigration to prop up their, um, their GDP mm -hmm. so that we're actually we're in a per capita recession. Yeah. And it's only the high immigration that it's actually the official recession which New Zealand's going through now at the moment. It's only high immigration. But it's a Ponzi scheme, mm. Daisy. You can't keep bringing these people in because someone's, someone's got to pay for it. And uh, that's the problem because they haven't managed properly. The waste of money I see happening, that's the disgusting part about it. Mm -hmm. This push for this climate change cult. It's a cult. Oh, yeah. And, oh, yeah. you know, they've, they've got... They haven't got the answers for it, so we're paying out billions of dollars to these multinationals that are coming here who are making a lot of money out of it, and we've led down this path of it. And mm. high immigration, we haven't got the infrastructure projects as far as, you know, putting in, in plenty of hospitals and schools and roads and bridges and stuff that we need for, for an ever-increasing population. Mm. Yeah, it's a, it's a real worry, and even things like according to PropTrack, I mean, the rental vacancy rate, I think, as of January, was only 1.08%. And in a healthy rental market, that's meant to be 3%, like for, for supply to yeah. meet demand. Some cities, it's 0.7% oh. in some cities, so it's even lower than that. Oh, my gosh. And uh, so that means people can't get their accommodation. We've got a, um, in Brisbane City itself, under the motorway there, um, along the, um, just on the edge of town, um, South Bank there, mm. on the opposite side of South Bank, city side, you've got people living in their tents. Mm. So all the tents there, it's unheard of. People in tents in their cities, wherever they can, um, cars, people couch surfing. Um, these people have jobs too, but they just can't afford mm. rental accommodation. Mm. And it's, it's interesting, this era that we're in at the moment of people with jobs, sometimes with reasonable jobs, who are still not able to find anywhere to live or can't afford to live somewhere. I mean... Th well, they that... can't afford it, Daisy. That's yeah. what it is. They can't afford to live. Um, you're looking at $550, $750 a week in rent. Um, to these days, about half a person's wage or, or a home is basically going in rent or it's going in, uh, in mortgage repayments. And that's another thing that people are going to be um, suffering. I said to my kids, don't bother going into, and this was a while ago, I said, don't go into a loan. Yeah. I said, we're actually going to have um, dire straits and, and everyone's grabbing houses because they can see the increase in, in property prices. But I said, do not get into it yet. There's going to be a problem. And I see a lot of people are going to lose their homes and their properties. Um, they'll have to... Um, They'll lose it through the banking system. And that's another thing that needs a big rein in is our banking system. Mm. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. They've no. got too much control in this country over businesses, people's lives, what they charge, um, repossessions, everything like that. It's, um, it's disgusting what's happened. I want to see, uh, get, get back to our own, like the Commonwealth Bank, owned by the government for the people. Thank you. That's an interesting... Um, proposition because I mean the sort of the free marketeer conservatives would, would disagree with that they're all about private mm. enterprise and to, to agree to a degree right. I'm with them but what can you tell us about that idea of say the government owning owning the banks instead of um, them being private because if the government owns the banks well then they'll have control over it so the other ones will have to fall in line if they want the business mm. so if it, it's we've lost a lot of it see the the Commonwealth Bank that was owned by um, the, the people of Australia, right, one stage, they sold it off. Do you know that they make profits of around about, it was $10 billion Oh, wow, year? that's a lot. Okay, <laughs> so here you have, we've sold off our asset-making profits, mm -hmm. whether it be Telstra. I oppose the sale of Telstra. So you had Telstra and you lost 56,000 um, workers in, with Telstra when we actually sold tra Telstra. Mm. Then you've actually sold off the airports all the parking, we're building roads allowing other people to build our roads that mm. are making the money, the tolls out of it. We're losing all that. Mm. We've sold our ports. We don't own a lot of our ports in, in Australia at all. 
these governments, they don't know how to manage money. And what they do is it's a sugar hit. Let's sell off that asset. So cover their promises. And it's basically waste of money. Mm. And then we've got nothing left. Yeah. And we have to tax the people more to try and cover the cost mm. of everything. We're but just over-servicing with public servants. Mm. It's just too many public servants in this country. We're taxing people to hilt. Your local government is ta- taxing people to hilt as well, mm-hmm. and then the states, until you get good economic managers in this country right across the board, in state, local and federal, we are killing people mm. and their lifestyle and standard of living. Mm. Well, look, if if I could pay lower taxes if the government owns at least one of the banks, then let it let let that happen because we get taxed out the wazoo in this country, and it's it's one of the things that yeah. drives me completely insane. But Daisy, what's also happening with the banks is they're they're telling businesses we're only going to hold your business, or they could shut you down because you're not complying with their what they want. Mm. Do you know what I've heard? I was just told yeah. that one of the the banks, right? They want to see your EBA agreement that you're actually employing enough people under this diversity. Oh, wow, really? Yep. Oh, yep. that's crazy. Yep, and I'm going to be looking at it. Good. Because what they're saying is that unless we want to see that you're employing um, plenty of females, plenty of um, transgender or whatever, mm. these people of diversity, Aboriginals and all the rest of it, and what they put out now is there's a couple of jobs in one of the banks going mm. and um, they had to employ an Aboriginal and a female, right, and these two positions <sighs> available. Now, how many Aboriginals, 3%, how many people are actually going to have the qualifications to fill that position, not based on the merit or the qualifications, but on their race, yeah. and the other one is because you're female. Mm. So no wonder the men out there are throwing their hands up in the air and they're saying, what's the point of me going to university or bettering myself because I'm going to be picked out of the post because I'm not a female? Yep, yep, absolutely. And then on the other hand, they're saying, well, what is a female? Yeah, well, exactly. Well, that's, well, that's sort of the workaround, isn't it? I mean, if men now, anyone can identify as a woman. You don't need any kind of medical qualification, certainly not in Queensland. And I guess that's sort of the workaround if you're a man. It's like, oh, I'm so now a woman. So how critical? One minute they don't want to define what a female is, and the next know. minute they're giving jobs only to females. I know. And the gender pay gap, oh. uh, you know, that's another thing that is just, um, I can't, I get my head around. I'm sick of the feminists pushing oh. their own agenda, mm-hmm. right? In, in Australia, mm. and um, I don't stand up for me. And, and in my party, Daisy, mm. there's no female that will get a position. Uh, it's all based on merit. Mm. And Absolutely. I, I stand by that. Mm. 